another day, another good deeds card. I'm kind of getting tired of these since I've been having them back to back to back. I guess I did a terrible job shuffling. It goes pick up litter around your neighborhood. Aha! This one is one of those things that I actually do pretty good with since I was a kid. And what inspired me was, of course, science classes. But I just remember being told so much as a kid, pick up the trash, take out the trash, pick up after yourself. If you see trash on the ground, pick it up. Don't ignore trash. Don't leave trash behind as much as you can within reason pick up trash. It's one of those that I really, 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 really feel like it goes a long way, even if you don't think it does. I wish that I were a little stronger so that I could lift some of the garbage that some people leave out by the dumpster despite the dumpster having space. But the reason I phrase it like that is because people have been discarding bigger items, even dead ass TVs, which that's the worst because those are things that you're supposed to dispose of more responsibly because it has components that are bad for the environment. But other times people will leave furniture and I'm like, damn it, like, is it really so hard for you to somehow break it down or at least take it to the bigger dumpster that we have on the other end of the community? But anyway, as a kid, it always made me feel fulfilled and happy that I was able to make a difference. In the mornings, there's this older guy who I see pretty much every morning I work and he is out there at the 7 a.m. hour range and he's just picking up trash with his little stick and he has a grocery bag, a paper bag, and he'll be picking up those things. And he does a really good job. There have been times in which I've been off and I've driven by that road and I have driven back. The debris that I remember noticing was gone by the time I came back around. And I think he does that as a volunteer. I feel like he has retired in one of those homes. These are the homes that are on the higher, upper, upscale echelons of society. And I'm pretty sure that he's just retired and this is just something he does. And it's great. I always feel delighted when I see him doing that. And it also works for him to get his little exercise in. I personally carry extra gloves in my bag because you ain't gonna catch me picking up stuff on the ground unless I have gloves on. And the reason I do that is because there isn't always an available place for me to wash my hands. If I touch something that I'm not supposed to without gloves, I'm going to fall into a coma and we don't need that. That's pretty much it. This one's very simple, straightforward, straight to the point. This is something that I can do and will do with or without this thing telling me. But I'm glad that this thing told me because it never occurred to me to turn this into a topic. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you have any interesting litter picking up stories? Let me know. Another thing I wish that I saw people doing better with is picking up after your damn animals. Some people do well, some people don't. There's no excuse for you to not pick up the mess after your animal. Do it.